In this video, I will show you how to get free traffic for affiliate marketing and how to use free traffic sources to promote your affiliate links. In the last video, we saw that the best way to promote your affiliate links was on the back end of your list building funnel not only you will capture leads and contact them later but your traffic will be warmed up enough to make purchases through your affiliate links we also saw on the last video that in order for you to attract targeted visitors to your affiliate marketing funnel you needed two things the first one is a lead magnet to offer for free and the second is a unique content to submit to those traffic sources in order to attract visitors and get them to visit your capture page. We also saw that in order for you to attract targeted visitors to your affiliate marketing funnel or to your capture page, you needed two things, a lead magnet to offer for free and the second thing is using unique content to submit to the traffic sources and by doing that you will be contributing positively to those communities and driving free targeted traffic to your affiliate links in the process we also saw the method to get unique content fast using three websites killer PLR articles spinbot paper rater so if you did not watch the first video please check the links in the description of this video and you will find the link to that first video there and today we're going to dive deeper and see how we use that unique article on free traffic sources and before we start please consider liking the video subscribing to the channel and or dropping a comment it will be a well appreciated support thanks a lot so now that we have our unique article it has to be a quality article well done we will be heading to the traffic sources and contributing there giving value um, I mean participating in educating people and giving a free solution to them and in the same time we will be driving free targeted traffic to our capture pages so first let's work a little bit with the article we got from the last video and here it is on a word document you can reorganize the formatting a little bit add remove phrases you can also combine different articles and give it your personal touch and if you want to make things better you can add an introduction or a conclusion from your own words you can also use royalty free images to make it more compelling like these images are royalty free all you have to do is search on the internet for royalty free images you can download them and put them inside the article then try to extract or inject a few keywords a well searched keywords that represent the most the topic you will use them later when submitting your content to the free traffic sources and make a list of 10 or 12 key phrases like i did them here in red so every time you can see get website traffic get website traffic you can see here for example drive traffic to your website get more website traffic all these are targeted keywords people are using to search for information and you will use them to be found actually on the platforms and on the search engines like Google and YouTube and here is a quick reminder before we go on in the method is just this will work better if there is consistency and a good choice of topic and keywords so if you are in the make money online niche or the affiliate marketing this is a good choice but if you are in the in another 
a niche, you might search for other articles and other uh, traffic sources. And consistency is really key. So the work needs to be highly targeted and consistent. So here are a few of my favorite free traffic sources and in this video I will present eight of them. So my personal blog and I use a search engine optimization to rank my articles. Quora.com where I use spaces and answer questions. Uh, Medium.com where I uh, post regular articles, posts, and also I have a publication. I use also other publications to publish my articles or my, or my pieces of content. YouTube videos, this one is huge. Podcast and search engine optimization. You can use a podcast platform, a free one, like for example, Podbean. Facebook groups where there are uh, millions of people hanging out there and also big niche forums where we will be using the signature strategy plus a bonus method that I will reveal at the end of this tutorial so stay tuned and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this is the first time we meet now we will be posting to our blog and if you don't have a blog you can either create one for free at blogger.com as you can see here you can choose a, a template or a theme that uh, that is good for your content that you like also and i personally prefer themes with sidebar so i can promote other stuff while i am posting my articles but if you want more advanced functionalities, you can use a self-hosted WordPress blog like I'm doing here. Uh, you will get uh, more advanced uh, techniques and plugins that will help you drive more traffic and rank better in the search engines. And since people are searching on Google or any other search engine for high quality content to answer their questions or to resolve their problems, I will be giving Google or the, or the other search engines some good content to index and present to the searchers. So once I have the content, I will optimize it using the uh, uh, Yoast SEO uh, plugin. I optimize it for the search engines and then I will publish it on my website. I will share that blog post on social media and many other platforms. So here is exactly how this is done. So first thing to do is to install the Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress website. And for that, you need to go to the menu that says plugins and then add a new. Once on this page, you type uh, the keyword here, SEO or Yoast SEO, and you will see the plugin here at the top, it says Yoast SEO. So. It's already installed on this uh, on this uh, on this website, but uh, you will see here install and then activate. I'm sure you can do that. It's very easy. Now, once it's done, if you go to your posts on your website, you click here on post. You will see all the posts that you already um, published, and you can see at the right hand side here these indications of the Yoast SEO plugin, meaning that the optimization for the search engines is green so that's good and the readability also is good but if you want if you want to see more details about this we click on edit the article here and we will just assume that this is a brand new article that we just pasted in our wordpress editor here so um, to see more details about the results of the yoast seo you need to go all the way down on the article and then you will see this widget here giving you more details and basically what i want to do is have both of these green so if you uh, pick the seo um, tab first uh, well, you have to enter the key phrase or the focus key phrase that you are targeting. And then you go down here to analyzes and then you will see the details. 
so I have outbound links, I have uh, internal links, I have key phrase in the introduction, I have images, I have the, the good text length, etc. So you will be working on these points here one by one until you make them all green. This one here is still red because it's the the key phrase density. I don't have enough um, key phrases in the article and I need to add more of them. But basically this is what needs to be done. Uh, if you install the Yoast SEO plugin, you can put your content here in the editor and then you come down here and you start making these bullet points, all of them making them green. And if you do not understand what, what it means here, something means here, all you have to do is actually click on it it will take you to the Yoast SEO website and it will explain what's that. So here it says what is key phrase density and why it is important. So if you read here, you will learn exactly what needs to be done and benefit your website rankings on Google. So this is the point number one and which is installing the Yoast SEO plugin on your WordPress site and making sure that every time you post an article or you post something on your blog, you make sure that it says green for both readability and search engine optimization. And then imagine putting on your website like post after post after post and you will have a big number of posts that are all optimized for the search engines you will definitely receive a lot of targeted traffic to your website now let's go to Quora.com and see how to use the questions and answers and also how to publish content on Quora spaces to drive free targeted traffic to our affiliate marketing campaigns so tip number one, write or find good quality content to use in your answers. So if you want Quora to get your answers in front of many people's eyes, you have to write something compelling, interesting and catchy. But there is one more thing that is very important to do to get traffic to your answers, and that is a question you choose on Quora also makes a huge difference. You have to choose a question that receives a good weekly amount of views, which will probably be worth your uh, time investment and also your efforts. So let me go ahead and show you some of my content here and uh, what is the amount of views that is getting. Like for example, this one here, how do you repurpose PLR content? If I scroll down, you can see that the content is long and it has valuable information in it. And this one here has 389 views and it has been um, published not a long, long time ago, like September 23rd, let's say eight days. Since eight days, it received like 389 views. Let's check something else. This one here has a video also. And let's go down a little bit further. Uh, this question here says, what are the benefits of list building? And this answer is, um, like very long it has images on it and it has 689 views this is another one this is another article to answer a specific question you can see that it is very long and it has lots of uh, useful information in it and uh, it's the same thing here so all the questions I answer all the topics I blog about are like I provide a lot of information about the subject.
And when it comes to coming up with this high quality content, I have two strategies. The first one is that I leverage PLR content. I rewrite it, but I use it as a base for my thoughts and my answers. The second strategy is I do searches on Google and find pieces of content and then I will take them, combine them and rewrite them in a good manner and then post them to answer a specific question on Quora. The second tip is to answer questions where your answers will rank. So you have to choose the right question. So what we need to look at here is uh, the popularity of the uh, question, how many views it gets uh, per week, which I will show you a little bit later. And also you need to check the ranking answer. Uh, you might see uh, questions with uh, more than 100 answers and the first answer is the one that is ranking. You need to take a look at that specific answer and study it to see if you can come up with something better that can be that answer. So you can choose questions where you can add something that other people did not already mention. The higher your authority gets, the more popular questions you can answer. So find the right question on Quora, then do your best answering it. So let's take an example on the fly. Let me write how to make money online. That's better. So this is a question, for example, that says, what is the best way to make money or how do I make money online? If I click on that specific question, I will uh, see some details. Like, for example, it has 3,800 uh, followers and it has more than 100 answers. Answers, And this one here is the uh, ranking answer. That's the best answer according to Quora. So this is it. What you need to do now is to uh, go through this and read it, analyze it and see if uh, there is something missing. And then you try to find something better than this and post it as an answer to this question. If we take another example, how to, for example, drive traffic, I will, how do, how can I drive traffic to a brand new blog? Let's take this one and see what's happening here. It has 56 answers and it has 177 uh, followers. And if I take a look to this, um, answer here it's not very long so i think there is an opportunity here to bring a longer and better answer and rank for this one of course we will see um how many weekly views uh, these kind of questions are receiving in a, in a second so what you have to do actually is find interesting questions that are receiving lots of views and also you need to check if you can compete with the number one answer that is already there. And this is why we spoke about the content quality in the beginning. Okay, guys, so before I go ahead and show you the uh, secret tip to uh, find out how many uh, weekly views the uh, questions are receiving, uh, let me kindly ask you to support the channel by subscribing, liking the video, and or dropping a comment in the comment section. So what you need to do first is go to your picture, to your uh, avatar, and then click on Ads Manager, Ads Manager here. Uh, if you did not create an account already, you can create it very easily. It takes a few seconds and it doesn't ask you for any credit cards or something like that. And uh, usually it will be um, connected to your regular Quora account so once you click on this one you'll be on a screen like this and then let's say that we are going to create a campaign so i click a new campaign here and then i want traffic you can name your campaign here like for example test um, test number one for example and then you want traffic you don't want conversions or something else let's put a daily budget this is just uh, for the sake of the example we're not going to pay anything 
and then what you need to do is click on continue here and once you do that what you want to select here is questions because because we're searching for popular questions and then you click on this button here that says bulk add and then you type in here one or two words about the uh, subject or the topic that you want to answer and that you have already good quality content about let's say that we want to search for traffic related questions so i type traffic and then i put continue and this is what happens it will show me this so how can i increase the traffic to my website this question here is getting between 600 and 850 every week this is now this is happening right now so these are the weekly views for this question so if you have good quality answers and content about this question here you can just go ahead click on it and it will open on a new window and you can analyze it so we have more than 100 answers we have 3000 followers and you can read the first question and try to compete with that if i go back and then i try something else let's say for example leads and i do continue so we don't have big amounts of views here but let me choose something else let's say for example money i will add online and then click on the continue button and here we have what's the easiest way to make money online receiving between 5,000 and 6,000 views a week that's that's now that's not last year that's that's now that's live so if I click on the question itself and I will see that it has uh, 10,000 followers more than 100 answers and then of course what you can do is you can go through this answer here that is ranking number one and then you see if you can compete or add something that is not mentioned already yet and then you come up with that great content and click the answer button where's the answer button okay i don't see the answer button because i already did answer this question here and um, it says here you've written an answer so i think this is very powerful guys if you want to uh, have a clear idea of the weekly uh, views that a particular question is getting so you can come here and find the best questions and then of course you can answer them right away or you can answer them later so if i take this one here how do i earn money from home using the internet 800 to a thousand so if i click on this one here i see that it's more than a hundred um answers and 800 uh, um, almost 900 followers you will need to check the ranking answer of course which is this one here i don't think it's um well it's long enough it's long enough but you can of course take a look at it analyze it and try to cut to come up with something better and uh, if you don't have um, content ready to go with this question you can just click on these three dots here and click answer later so you will um, you will save it for yourself for later and then come back and answer it now let's go to medium.com and start publishing our articles and also using publications on medium.com and I just wanted to say for these two here I mean medium.com and Quora.com are becoming really huge right now and millions of people are reading them every day medium medium.com is this one so if you click on your um, avatar here you can see here publications 
So let me click on the publications. These are publications where I am a member and or following. And this is my own publication. I gave it the same name as the Quora space. It's work and make money online. And these pieces of content have been submitted by me like uh, in the previous days. So if I click on any of these articles here, it will open I, and I can read it and everything. But if I search, I will find the links out to my blog. So if I click on this link here, I'll be taken to my blog where there are affiliate links, videos, banners, etc. And when I can monetize that traffic. YouTube is one of the biggest traffic sources and the traffic is highly targeted. Some extra work needs to be done here because we will have to repurpose the article and uh, turn it into video. And here there are lots of ways to do it. And it worth the effort because the traffic is really great. And the best tool being an application called Vidnami. And I have a link to that application in the description of this video. And this is the application. You can try it for free and you can turn your article into great videos. So when converting PLO articles into YouTube videos, um, we must not uh, just go ahead and read it word for word, but we have to have a script or a strong outline of what we want to say. Think of what you do if you decided to use PLR article in your blog post. You would edit the PLR content enough to make it your own. That is what you need to do when you want to convert PLR articles into videos as well. So the first thing that we always need to do, which is a good idea, is to rewrite the PLR article, changing a little bit the paragraphs as well as adding some of your own content to make it more original. Now, in order to record the video, we have two options here. The first one is to show your face on the video and you can speak and explain each and every point uh, that is included in that PR article. And the second choice is if you don't want to be on camera, you can use PowerPoint presentations or create presentation on, on, uh, on Canva where there are multiple slides and you bring a vocal explanation every time you show a slide. So the example for this video is this article here or a cheat sheet uh, about 17 blog post formulas. So I thought that it will be a nice idea if I do 17 slides where I explain and give a little bit more details about every slide or every formula to write a blog post. So even if you have another type of uh, PLR articles, you can like structure it like this in multiple points and you put each point on uh, on an individual slide and you prepare some explanations for that specific slide. So what you can do if you have PowerPoint is to find a nice uh, template for a PowerPoint presentation like this one I'm showing you here. So this is a template that I use uh, usually to create my videos. So it's a very nice template actually. And I will, well, leave me a comment in the comment section if you want to use this same template. But there are lots of uh, resources on the internet that provide you with free PowerPoint templates. Actually, I went to Google and typed free PowerPoint templates and designs. And I found this website here called freepowerpointtemplatesdesign.com. And it offers you a variety of templates that you can download for free and use for your videos. Another great idea is to mix or to put into your slides like pictures relevant to the subject. And I have found another website that provides you with free images. So uh, this website is uh, free to use, free download images. 
and uh, you can use them for free royalty free so the website is called unsplash.com unsplash.com so all you have to do is type what kind of pictures you want like i want for example pictures and images about computers so i just type computers and then it will bring lots of images about computers which i can use so if i click on this picture here it says here download for free so here is an example of a slide that this slide uh, was at the beginning of this uh, particular video so i just put a picture here which is the thumbnail of this video and i put a big title here and then i explain a little bit what i'm doing here and then if you have more slides you just add here right click and then add a new slide and then you put your object objects here here is another way to go about the presentation it is you go to the canva.com website canva.com and then you can type here on the search bar presentation or you can just find it here on the menu so you click on that and canva will bring you multiple presentations templates that you can choose from and then you can choose at the left hand side which template you like uh, let's say for example this one here so if i click on it you have multiple um, layouts on this template that you can use for your video so at this point here all you have to do is copy and paste your content from your article to this presentation and once you're done formatting it you can just go ahead and download it now once you have your presentation ready um, on uh, PowerPoint or on Canva, you need now to record your screen. And uh, once you're ready to record your screen, all you have to do is open your open your uh, PowerPoint presentation, click on this button here at the bottom right hand side, and then you will see the presentation live. And then all you have to do is uh, explain what you are showing on the different slides while the slides are passing like the way I'm doing right now. So if you want to stop, you can just go ahead and stop the recording. And by the way, the application I'm using to record my screen is called Free Cam 8. So all you have to do is write Free Cam 8 on Google and then the first link will give you this website here, freescreenrecording.com you'll be brought to this page here where you can insert your email address and download it and use it for free. Now the other option, the last option here is if you do not want to put a lot of work on it, you can use this professional software that will deliver a great video voiceover uh, only when you uh, submit your article ready so you'll be able to make professional videos with this website here called Vidnami. I will leave a, um, a link in the description if you want to try it for free for 14 days uh, it will be a very good idea to use this software here now let's go ahead and publish on a podcast platforms like anchor.fm and all you have to do is record the audio while you read the article and then submit it with the right keywords. The good thing about this is that using PLR content to create podcasts and knowing how to repurpose the PLR products in, into uh, podcasts means that you will not have to put lots of efforts because the information is already available. So the process is very simple actually. The first thing that you need to do is grab a PLR article or your own article and then it's always good if you rewrite it if it's a PLR but if it's in good shape you can just keep it like that if you have the right to do that but it's always good to put your personal touch and your personal style on the article the second important thing that you need to have after having the PLR article rewritten and uh, 
uh, redesigned, you need to have something of good quality to record your audio, to record your voice. And most of the time, the headphone of your computer can do it. I mean, you can just use the headphones uh, uh, connected to your computer and record your voice reading the article. The third thing that you will need to do this is to have a platform where you can publish your podcasts. And for this video, I took this example here, anchor.fm anchor.fm is the website where you can record your podcasts and publish them as well and they will publish them also on uh, multiple other platforms for you so before we go to anchor.fm let me kindly ask you to subscribe to the channel like the video and or drop a comment to support the channel uh, thank you very much so once you register an account on anchor.fm and then you go ahead and uh, and uh, confirm your email address you will be logged in and uh, brought to the screen here where it's asking you to make your first episode so if you click on this button here you will be ready to record your first episode but before we go ahead and record I want to go to the settings tab here and update the settings it's very important to give relevant information about uh, your topic about your podcasts and what you will be talking about in these podcasts so you have here a podcast name podcast description and a cover art for the podcast so in this example, I'm just going to use the title of this article as the podcast name, and I will use the first the first two paragraphs here as a description, and I will use this picture here, here as a cover art. So I will just copy the title from here, and then I will take it to the platform and paste it here. Now let me just copy the two first paragraphs and then of course paste them into the description area uh, explaining to the listeners uh, everything we're talking about here looks like the description uh, takes only 600 characters um, maximum so i will just stop here and then i will upload this uh, cover so upload an image and I will go ahead and take this one here and use it as an art. All right, so keep it center, update, and then save. Once the settings are saved, all you have to do is click on this button here saying new episode or uh, click on the dashboard and you will be brought to the main page of your dashboard and here is where it's asking you to uh, start recording one of your podcasts now if I click on this button here that says record it will ask me to select one of my microphones connected to this computer and I'm working with what well, this one here blue snowball so now my mic is ready to take my voice and all I have to do then is click on the button to uh, start recording. So right now I am recording my podcasts and everything I'm saying is recorded. So what I have to do after that is, of course, uh, read the, uh, the, the, the article step by step in a clear manner so that there are no noises around me and also the pronunciation needs to be good as well here is one important thing to consider when you are recording your article as a, a podcast is to always include calls to action so the person who is listening will know where to go or which website to go or where what email address he needs to contact etc so if you don't tell them what to do uh, probably they will not do it and once you're done uh, recording the article you just click on the button here um, stop recording 
and then you will wait for it to process and then you can just go ahead and publish it now let's say that you do not want to put your voice uh, over and you want somebody else to do it you can head to a website like fiverr for example here and you type on the search bar you type voice over and you will find all these offers here by these people who will give you a variety of choices like for example she's saying that I will record a pro-American female voiceover. So there are lots of offers here that you can take and then you will be ready to publish your podcast. Now let's go ahead and use some Facebook groups and there are huge groups. These can be effective if you post consistently good posts with attractive images and uh, your post will be shown actually on each member's wall and there are lots of uh, Facebook groups who are really huge and you have to join a maximum of niche targeted groups. Facebook is great and it sends me lots of free traffic every day so I have a routine what I do is I come every day to Facebook and I click on this button here that says groups and I am a member of a variety of groups that are all talking or discussing affiliate marketing and internet marketing niches so what I do is I come here and I publish my posts to my blog post to my YouTube videos to my affiliate uh, links etc so these groups can send you organic traffic actually because they can be found on Google and then from there they will come to your website one important thing also that you need to do with Facebook is optimize your profile so if someone clicks on your avatar and wants to know more about you they will find a brief explanation like for example here I'm saying here we are trying to find ways to make money online and there is a link to my website so forums can also be very effective if used properly and basically what you have to do is find your biggest forums in your niche register and start building a good profile you have to complete your profile put a nice picture of you a nice description use your articles to post in the right forums and also to comment do this for some time then put your favorite link in your signature with a nice call to action and by the way here's just a reminder about this method the backlinks that you will be building are staying there on those platforms for a long time and like this you will be getting passive free traffic now guest post exchange is the bonus method and basically and since you know how to come up with a nice piece of content you can reach out to other bloggers and suggest guest posting on their blogs you can show them some examples of your blog posts or your previous blog post and ask them if they want to publish on your blog too and this will be a win-win deal every blog has a contact us page at the bottom menu so click that and send them details about your guest posting exchange and this will be a great source of free traffic for your website so thank you very much guys for making it so far and watching the video to the end i'm really happy to make these tutorials for you so if you like them please like the video subscribe to the channel and or drop a comment and i will see you on my next video cheers